Hey everybody, this is Cappy Smack, and I'm coming to you from the Low Rent Disco Town, the voice of the people. And we're here today to look, take a look at Dual Universe and the current state of the game to see what it's all about. Where is it going? How's it going to get there? And as one individual who has managed to wreck the economy, maybe not single-handedly, because they really didn't have an economy before I got there. But it was terribly easy to get blueprints and terribly easy to build up mega factories that could churn out all kinds of products and then I would just dump it on the market for no Qantas. Because they don't have an economy. So now they're trying the um, EVE Online method, I guess. I don't know. They've effectively shut down my multi-billion Qantas factory sitting right there in the center of the screen. I'm on one of my alts. They shut it down because, hey, you don't have any prints. You can't build anything. Thank you very much for playing the game, which I'm not really unhappy about. They didn't have an economy. Are they trying to get one? Maybe. They don't have one now. So if you wanted to get into the game right now, I would say don't. It's not worth it. I'm here. I'm just hoarding up resources. That's the only thing I can do right now. Yeah, I was unhappy for six weeks, didn't play for six weeks. Then I decided, well, I'll hoard up resources. I'm paying for the game. Maybe it'll turn into something. Maybe it won't. Who knows? Nobody knows. They don't know. Maybe they can make it into something. Who knows? They're getting some money from me in the meantime. It's not a terrible game design. Um, but they don't have an economy. There's no way for people to get started. There's no way for people to get a foothold in an economy where you might have a chance to make more Qantas than they're giving you every day. Now, they give you 150k per day. And if you invest that in some tiles, and if all you do is farm resources, like I'm doing now, not terribly interesting, you'll get uh, 52 million, you know, 50, 50 million per year, basically. And the resources will pay for some tiles. Let's say you had five tiles. You could, you could, it, you know, you could pay for the tiles. Not going to be a problem. You can have the tiles. You're going to pay for the rent, based on the resources that come from the tiles. But right now, that's all you can do. So, can you buy a ship at some point? Well. After three or four months of just farming resources and selling them to the big organizations, you might have enough money to buy a ship or build a ship. I don't even know who's building ships anymore. You might have some money. Are you going to be able to build a factory and, and make money? Well, if they ever work out what they're going to do with blueprints, and I assume they're going to have a blueprint, blueprint lottery because they did that in EVE, and the developers seemed like EVE Online a lot because they do all kinds of EVE Online things like skill trees, very EVE Online. So right now, I don't think I really know what they want to do. They thought they wanted to go live. They made a big statement, hey, we're going to take the game live. And then along came me, and I don't care about your economy. I don't care who's running the show. Maybe I and others upset the apple cart. Maybe did it single-handedly. I don't know. I don't care. They didn't have an economy. All I could do 
from an economic viewpoint was ruin the economy. Did I make enough money to pay for whatever I was building? No. Not really the goal. Was I ever going to be able to do that? No. Because I didn't have enough economic wealth to be able to do any of that. Can you have a healthy economy if new people feel like there's nothing they can do? Probably not. Is the game stable enough so that you can actually play and enjoy it? No. In real terms, they don't actually have a game as much as they have an idea for a game. But they don't really have a game. I think the developers want there to be a game. They don't have an economy. They're, you know, Look, if you're going to build a factory, you're going to pick one product to build. That's all you're ever going to be able to build. If you try to get too many products out there, you lose track of what the prices of the day are because there's no support from the game. There's nowhere near the support you have in EVE Online. You'd have to be able to track the products you have on the market, track what the current price is. You'd have to know what it costs to build the product, and the game doesn't tell you. And if you don't keep spreadsheets, on, you know, offline, out of the game, you're not going to be able to do any of that. And the bottom line is, there's always going to be a bigger corporation out there who's going to be able to produce more. And all they have to do is run you out of business by lowering the price to the point where you can't be in the game. And you, I mean, you, if, you don't have, if you don't have income, you're not going to be able to build. If you don't have income, you're not going to be able to buy ore. And you're not going to be able to mine enough ore for it to matter. If you want a big factor, then they're done. That. So why don't we just sit back and enjoy the only thing I can do, which is to hoard resources, which I've got a lot of resources. And I've still got billions of quantas, probably four billion quanta. But I'm not on. I'm not in their economy. I can't be in their economy. I never could, and I'm not going to be able to once they figure it out. Now, compare this game with No Man's Sky, and what do you got? Well, in No Man's Sky, you can you can mine resources. No Man's Sky doesn't have an economy. Doesn't want an economy, and economies are not great for players' satisfaction. But what you can do in No Man's Sky is you can do the same things you can do in your dual universe. You're not going to build ships, but you can find ships. And the ships work a lot better in No Man's Sky. They use the same kind of voxels to build their planets in No Man's Sky. So you can dig into the earth and do you can dig into the ground and do blah blah blah, just like you can in uh, in dual universe. So, I mean, I don't know. If this game can figure itself out in the next two or three years, who knows? I personally think the big corporations, big organizations of players who've been in the game forever complained bitterly about someone they knew nothing about upsetting their markets and the game developers said, okay, we don't want to lose all of our veterans. And we don't have an economy anyway, so maybe we should try to build an economy. Now, they have quality issues because I set this thing up the other day. I'm pretty sure I did. And it has gone offline. So I 
this game has quality issues. I would say for now, there's no reason to get involved in this game. Is anybody going to see this video? Doubtful. Is anybody going to listen to what I'm saying? Doubtful. Am I going to change any minds? Doubtful. I'm just doing this because, you know, trying to learn how to do video content. And you can see that a lot of my videos are really crappy quality because I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm a software engineer, whiz bang software engineer, trying to find work, dabbling in YouTube on the side. And every couple of years, I kick myself and wonder why I'm doing it. And every couple of years, when I'm between jobs, I go, hmm, maybe I should do that. Maybe it might make me some money. So that's the current state of the game in my mind. I have five tiles on Alioth. I have four billion Quantus. You can see my tiles. They will produce materials. Every two weeks I harvest. I'm about halfway to doing that now. And I'm just going to store it up, store up everything I've got in whatever storage containers I was able to build before they shut down my mega factories. Well, mega factory number one, I was going to build another one on Ilioth and then build another one on Haven. The Haven factory was doing very little because I just got started and it shut down. I don't have any prints. If you don't have prints in your in your uh, um, assemblers, they're not going to assemble, and so then there are no prints. And as far as I can tell, there's no way to get prints because I think that's still in development. So that's what we're doing. I'm building fuel because I will never need that again. I'm hoarding resources. And, um, you know, grossing about the day when I was able to upset every single economy in this game that might have existed by dumping cheap products on the market. Yeah, that was me. Do I still have cheap products I could dump? Yeah, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until they figure out what their economy is going to be and they're going to start doing their lotteries. And if they don't wipe out every single thing you could have built, then I'm going to be sitting there with a stockpile of things that I can put out there and dump for cheap. The only way that what they're going to do is going to work is if they were to just do a wipe on the entire game database. Start everybody fresh. Piss everybody off. That's the only way it's going to work. And why would I do that? Why not? They don't have an economy. I got started and realized it was going to take months to do anything I might have wanted to do. I didn't want to just mine ore and sell it to the big organizations. Because that's literally the only thing a person could do. Now, you could toy around with building factories. You could figure out how it works, and I did. But you're only going to get to build one thing, whatever that one thing is. Otherwise, it'd get too big, you're not going to be able to manage it. And there are too many bugs in the game, you're going to have to go run around and, and tweak every single machine in, in your factory to keep them running because they have quality issues. So figure out that one thing you wanted to build, and you're going to get to build that and nothing else. So now I'm going to wait resources and when they figure it out I'm going to try to crash their economy what else is there for a guy to do to have fun but upset the apple cart
that was precariously balancing just perchance on a rock. And I walked up to this apple cart precariously balancing on a hill, and I noticed there's this one little rock sitting right there, and if I put one more apple in, hey, it's going to fall. Not my fault. I didn't put the apple cart precariously balanced on a rock sitting at the top of a hill. I just noticed it. And my, I can't produce fuel because I have no prints. None of these machines can do anything because I have no prints. No blueprints for anything. So they shut that down. I don't even need to come in here anymore. So whatever fuel I had stockpiled is what I've got. Which happens to be over here. I've got hundreds of thousands of whatever and ore that I can't really do anything with. And I got 150k per day, so I've got quantas that I can't really do anything with. And right now, as far as I can tell, this game is at a pretty good standstill. I was building a building, and I can't continue building a building without blueprints to make the materials I need to build the building. So I don't really know what their plans are or if they have them. It's kind of hard to take a game where people thought there might have been an economy. They were able to build up a factory and build products and try to sell them. And so maybe I wanted to spend all of my playtime distributing products I wanted to sell. And I have to log, so you have to be on break. But now, whatever factories I tried to build up are sitting empty. Whatever fuel I was trying to make so I could play the game is making no more. Whatever buildings I was trying to build, I cannot build anymore. If you go with the theory that the veterans of the game complained, I don't know how they're able to do what they want to do. Maybe they're just biding their time. Who knows? Maybe they're not playing the game because there's really nothing to do. And while the game loads, this building has, oh, there it goes. This building has nothing. So I just wanted to hop on and share my frustration with the rest of the world through YouTubes. Not that it's gonna matter, not that anybody's gonna care. I get a bit of catharsis from being able to complain publicly where who, who knows if anybody's listening and I don't care because they don't care. All I can do is make sure that these little machines run every day because that was going to be the only thing I was ever going to be able to do. Now, I do have ships on my other account. I'm still on an alt in that big building over there that's going to sit empty because it is shut down. I do have ships, I could fly them. There's no economy, there's no reason to distribute products you might want to sell. There's no real, I could pick up all my ore and I probably will, but I'm just making sure that all of my mining equipment is happily running. And then I'll start picking up all my ore and start building out storage and probably consume every single, um, every single core I could have built anything on just to do that, waiting for waiting for the day when someone's gonna deliver some groceries, which I have to go handle that. So we'll put you on hold.
No, now I gotta put my groceries away. That's the way it goes. And yes, I knew I did that before I started doing the stream. But, uh, you know, man's gotta eat. Meanwhile, the company I'm supposed to be working for in my day job ran out of money. Uh, we'll have funding. In, uh, it'll be June or July. Okay, it's August. Towards the middle or, or the end of July. Um, I'm working on some really great stuff, and we're going to have more funding in August. Can anybody see the pattern here? Well, I can see the pattern. There's nothing I can do about it. We're going to get to the end of August, and then the next news is going to be, oh, I'm working on some really awesome deals. I've got a number of investors, um, but they're not going to be able to come online until uh, September or October. And, yes, I have put my resumes out there ever since... They said, we don't have any funding because I went through that same thing six months earlier. And I did get a, jo a job six months ago, an extra job on the side, if you will. But they wanted to... Uh, Run fingerprints, and I was a bad boy 35 years ago. Didn't kill anybody. Although everybody's going to think that. There's a lot of ways to get in trouble. We end up with an FBI file where you don't have to kill people. I said the wrong thing to a room full of lawyers, and they decided to make it make a, a spectacle out of me. They hit me with a couple of felonies just for saying the wrong thing to a bunch of lawyers and hit a bank six months ago. And I didn't know there was a bank that was going to be involved, but they ran fingerprints and then wanted to go as deeply into my history as they possibly could. Even though the law says they can only go back seven years, if you want fingerprints, you can go back until the beginning of time. And then they decided hey, this case you were in was all about fraud, and it was not. And, well, you don't have a waiver that you're supposed to have, and so we're going to help you get that waiver. Now, nobody 35 years ago talked about fraud. Fraud wasn't part of it. There was no bank fraud involved, but banks are crazy. Banks are fucking insane. And this particular bank, who I never would have worked for, wanted to uh, set me up with some fraud. And I said, fuck this. I'm not doing it. So here I am getting promises from one company, and they say... Well, just keep track of how much we owe you, and when we get funding, we'll bring you current. And they did the last time, but money is getting tight. And I've burned through half of my savings. And so I'm trying to do some creative things on the side, not doing them very well. Because, you know, putting together videos and things can be a little complex. And getting it right and putting production quality in, that takes talent. I don't exactly have the talents I would need for this. I'll be very honest. Not exactly the most talented. <laughs>
I've almost never had this many people on a stream. Almost never. This is an awesome, momentous occasion that sometimes happens on Twitch. I would like to be partnered, but I need like 50 people to be on the stream at the same time. I'm not holding my breath. But it'd be nice, I and mean, I appreciate everybody watching. I'm just... Hard, oh, I'm just hoarding resources. That's all I can do. I'll show you a factory that's shut down here in a minute. But I have to check all these machines because every seven days they need to be recalibrated. And that's the guarantee that you keep playing the game. If you want to mine resources for the big organizations and sell it for money in the game, you have to come back to these machines every seven days or they just automatically shut themselves down. And this is another fuel factory that's going to do nothing. All these machines are red because I don't have any blueprints. I don't know how to find blueprints. When you look on the market and you search for schematic, they got places for stuff. But what am I going to buy? There's nothing here. And here I've got a building I can't work on because I can't make the materials to build because that takes a schematic. And here I've got machines. Let me go into build mode so I can fly. Build mode so I can fly. All these machines are red because they all had prints. They were all set up to build. There's no schematics. They, all the schematics timed out. So factory sits empty. I'll show you an even bigger factory in a minute. I'm also not going to be able to do anything with. But, you know, I've got ships. Let me show you my ships at the top of this building. Parked. That's a ship I bought from another player several months ago, back before the build apocalypse. And this is another ship I built. My primary character built this big, huge, honking ship for the sole purpose of being able to haul a lot of stuff. And let me see if I can take a look at the back of this thing. Now that I have an amazing eight people. What's a, what's a control K? Is, it, is that gonna make my game blow up? Seven. It's been a while. Well, they put momentum on it. Big, huge, honking ship with stacks and stacks and stacks of stuff, because that's what you kind of need to get, get ships hauling stuff in the game.
So what am I not paying attention to, chat? Hit control K on the schematics copy tab will come up. And what am I going to copy from? So are we not buying schematics? We can just make whatever we want now? Is that what we're saying? I missed this meeting, apparently. And they didn't send out a memo. Well, what is the point of having a market with this kind of stuff if you can just make them and buy them? Someone want to explain that to me, please? Since I'm apparently not very bright, maybe even quite stupid. I have a lot of discord in my heart. All right, so I appreciate you guys telling me some things. Doesn't really change anything, dude. In order for there to be an effective market, you need the tools you can that, that let you manage the things you might want to sell. It all, the game also misses that. All right, so I want to get my fuel things back up running. Let's see if I can find a fuel schematic. Uh, or, in other words, I need to find one, two, three schematics to build one fuel thing. I need uh, pure carbon. Uh, um, what am I supposed to see? Oh, it's pure material now. I'm sorry. And what is... It's going to take four hours to make a schematic that'll build 10. What the fuck? I don't even know what I'm doing here. What am I making? Schematics not needed for T1 Pure. All right, so you don't need a schematic to make a T1 pure, but I need to make fuel. That needs a schematic. So who cares? So I can make pure carbon. So fucking what? Like, if you're going to say things on the channel, try to say things that have meaning in real terms. As opposed to, I'm speaking, I'm saying words, and maybe we think you're an idiot. Your words are meaningless. Who gives a fuck if you can make pure carbon without a schematic? Who cares?
What does it fucking matter? If I don't need a schematic to make a pure item that goes into another schematic. I have no idea what I'm trying to make here. I guess I'm going to find out. Everybody who thinks I'm an idiot. I didn't see any information anywhere that said how to do any of this. Okay? Not that I don't appreciate people telling me I'm basically stupid. Nonetheless, the one machine that needs a schematic because it takes two other pure items needs a schematic. And the game developers are still basically saying, fuck you players. What do we care about you? We're going to change the game. So what if you had factories that needed schematics? Fuck you. Figure it the fuck out. We got your money. Go fuck yourselves. Oh, it'll do things in parallel. That's a, that's a surprise. I wouldn't have thought that. I think it's a little pricey to make a print, though. Whatever these prints are. I think it's a little pricey. I don't know why we think we're doing this in the game. But hey, whatever. It's a good thing I have billions. But hey, I appreciate people telling me I'm basically stupid even though my point still remains valid. So, you know, if you want to hop on my channel chat and tell me things, try to come up with the then what after the thing you say. Because the then what after I read something is what I'm going to be thinking about. Don't need a, you don't need a schematic to make a T1 pure. Who gives a fuck? The then what is meaningless. So what happens after that? Mr. Unhappy? And keep in mind, new players only get 150K per day. They're gonna, they're gonna spend all their money make, coming up with prints. And then they're going to spend all their money trying to build up a factory. That's never going to happen. I 
I'm curious as to what I'm making here because I have no idea and there's no information in the game. So we can sit and watch paint dry. Boy, messages are getting deleted by moderators. That's just amazing. I must have some amazing moderators. I mean, if y'all want to curse and swear at me, you can do that, but it's not going to get published. No one's ever going to see it. I should probably remove that thing that says new new subscribers are going to get a million Qantas. So if y'all are going to do that, you might want to do it before I change it. Anybody in chat want to tell me what I'm trying to make here? Because, I don't know. I missed that meeting. messages still being deleted by moderators. I guess I'll find out in three or four minutes. I noticed that nobody seems to be selling schematic prints. So again, who cares about people selling schematics? Obviously the prices to make prints is just too high. Otherwise,
otherwise everybody would rushed right away to make all the prints in the known universe so they could make Qantas from it when that's not going to happen apparently because it hasn't happened yet and for it to make sense you'd have to charge more for the print you want to sell than this magic machine will make for you Why it takes time to make a print, I have no idea. I mean, if you're going to make something make time, it needs to make sense. It needs to be a goal. So it takes 15 billion hours to make a print. So I want to make an expensive print. It's going to take 15 billion hours. I queue it up. I walk away. And 15,000 years later, I come back and the print is made. At that point in time, it's as if the print was made instantaneously from the point of view of me as an observer, forgetting the fact that I had spent 15,000 years getting there. At that point in time, it was instantaneous. It wasn't instantaneous until then, and then all of a sudden, it was. And in 42 seconds, if I had not known that I'd queued it up, five minutes ago, that print that's about to be done will be done instantaneously. I know why that was done in EVE Online. It was done to slow down production. That's the only purpose. Well, since somebody could tell me what the fuck this was going to be, I guess I have to try to figure it out. Uh, where would it be? Data? Where, where, oh. It put it in the one that wasn't linked. Awesome. So what the hell is this? It's nitron fuel. Awesome. It's always nice to have a fucking print. Not in my linked container. And that, by the way, boys and girls, is a bug. So I've got 50 of what? Anybody want to tell me? not a bug it is a bug it's not what i expect as a user a bug is defined as any behavior not expected now you want to give me some information as part of what you're doing as software that says what my expectations should be then that'll level set my expectations that wasn't done i expect it to go into the linked container because the link container is where everything goes by default that did not, therefore it is a bug. You can say it's a feature all you want. You can say it's, a, it's as intended. For me, it's a bug. Well, Kineso, that's just fucked up reasoning. I'm sorry. Not, not impressed by why did this go down to, oh, because it already used three of something? What the fuck? Yeah, I'm not liking this system, folks. So each one of these gives me 50. 50 batches for 3,000.
I, 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 I'm sorry. I don't, I don't. I'm not digging it. Someone wanted to explain to me why we need schematics that that disappear. Is there a is there a reason for that? I'm not going to hop on your Discord, dude. I'm on a stream. I'm not going to jump on a Discord to give you a, a platform on my stream so you can explain something to me. And also, I don't really care what your explanation is, unless you can tell me why he's why it's important for prints to disappear now. Before you'd buy a print on the market, it would last forever. Why does it need to disappear now? If anybody can explain that, uh, you can type it in chat. It's to manage mega factories. You know what my original thesis was for this video, dude? My original thesis was they wanted to shut down mega factories. Yes, it's to keep you from building too big of a factory. Fucking right. Because they only want you building one thing. Because you're gonna have to fill it up with prints every day. You're not gonna do that with a mega factory. Thank you for making my point. And since they didn't have an economy before, how is this going to get them an economy now? If you can explain that to me, please, since I don't seem to be very bright. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to have a mega factory. That's obvious. Because I would spend all of my time making prints that are going to take forever and a billion years. That's obvious. I might get away with building one thing, but even the small factory that I have on Haven, it, it that's the only thing I would do if I were going to play four or five hours a day. The only thing I would do was keep that little tiny factory running, maybe. That would be the only thing I would be doing. How does that give them an economy? I don't know. In EVE Online, they got an economy because they spread the prints out. Now, when they when you won a print, a blueprint, in EVE Online, and it was a forever blueprint, then you can make copies so that you could run items from the copies, and the copies would take a long time. That kept competition down, because only a certain handful of people ever had blueprints where you could make copies. This system, I have no idea. And even this one little fuel factory. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spend I'm gonna spend what 20 minutes making prints every day, and I have no idea how much product I'm gonna get for my time. Do y'all see that as being fun? What am I missing? Aren't games supposed to have a certain element of fun? How is doing this now fun? And since nobody can explain to me how this is supposed to make an economy, what's the and then what? I'm all about the, uh, the and then what. What's the and then what for what I'm doing here? 
or are we just all stupidly doing what they tell us to do and nobody ever thinks about it? Because I like to think about things. Why am I doing this thing I'm being asked to do? I mean, obviously, I'm not going to have a mega factory. And obviously, they just told me, fuck you, bud, you're not going to get to do that. I already knew I wasn't going to get to do it. I was just curious how long that was going to go on. I already knew that the game was designed so you'd only be able to build one thing. And now they're enforcing it. I already knew that. But how is what we're doing now going to give us an economy of any kind? That's the real question. And I need to see what I'm getting from my money here. We're running batches of 300 liters. So 50 batches of 300 liters is what, 15,000 liters? Fifteen kiloliters. That's not a lot of fuel. Big ship upstairs in Haven, it takes probably three hundred kiloliters just to fuel it up once. So 300 times 50, uh, that cost, what, 6,000? Let's say 7,000. 300 kiloliters divided by 15 times 7,000. That's 140K quanta just to get the nitron I need to fill that thing up once. So obviously, if I want to fly it around and distribute products to market, which is what you have to do, then I'm going to spend a couple days fueling it up. And then I get to fly it around for a day. Well, why are you getting timed out, man? What are you trying to say that you're getting timed out? I don't know. I do know that there are rate limits on how often people can say things. And I don't know that that's invalid. I know you're not all exactly being real helpful to me. I think I think you guys think whatever we're doing in the game now is a good thing. I don't think you can tell me why it's a good thing. I think you believe it might be. I don't think any of you have thought about it in terms of, and then what? Because most people don't have the ability to string together that many thoughts. Most people just have the ability to think about just one thing at a time. Here's the thing we're telling you to do, and they'll do it, and they're not going to give another thought to it. That's what most people are capable of. 
I'm able to step out of all of that and try to figure out why the fuck am I doing this in the first place? Because I can spring together more than one thought before my brain is overloaded, which it never happens. You want to tell me why schematics are good? Do you have that ability? Can you string that together in a coherent thought? Meanwhile, I'm trying to log into stream on but I don't seem to be able to because they can't send me a link. So that's the way that goes. Maybe type things into chat more slowly. A few breaths in between, but some meaningful words. Making copies of prints will help us build an economy through the following process. And then you can detail that. Now, if you put too many words down, it's going to cut you off because you're, you're spamming. I'm sure there's a way to say those kinds of things coherently with few words. But obviously the moderating system I've got doesn't want people to, I don't know, commandeer the chat just by speaking things very quickly. Now, this fuel factory used to make fuel all of the time. And it would take probably three or four days of making fuel passively to allow me to fuel my big ship upstairs in Haven to the point where I could actually do something with it. So now it's no longer passive. It will not passively do one fucking thing. Now, if I want to make fuel, and if I wanted to do it passively, I'd have to drop enough quanta to give me a big enough print so that it would passively build. And what's that going to cost? I don't know. So it seems to be a nice big drain on quanta, and it's no longer a passive resource. Still not seeing how that's a benefit for me. Sorry to be self-absorbed, but if you want me to participate, it's got to be something in it for me. But, I mean, at the end of the day, there's got to be something in it for me, man. I kind of like to have fun in this game. And before I could, and now I'm dubious. Although I do enjoy having eight or nine people in a stream where I never thought anybody would ever watch. I'm getting a kick out of that, got to tell you. Still not enough to make me a partner, but hey, you know, the one time I, I, I made affiliate in Twitch, it happened to be an EVE Online stream, and I was being stream snipe, and that's literally the only reason anybody was watching. So I was getting stream snipe, people were having fun screwing with me, and I was able to become an affiliate on that one night, and I've never had that many people in a stream since. And I'm sure it's going to happen when I make partner. It's probably going to be one special little spark of something that'll make people show up for 15 milliseconds or however long it, t it takes me to get partnered and then there will never be that many people again and that'll be the high point of my life at that point super awesome can't wait Meanwhile, 
I'm looking for work while I'm on the stream. Because I can do two things at once, apparently. And still, no one's able to explain to me how any of this is going to give us an account. Because I don't think anybody's thought about it. At all. I'm not an economist. But as far as I can tell, if I were patient enough and could build products and had you know, Qantas sitting in the bank and didn't care where it came from, I could still drive the price of that one product into the dirt. And as long as you can do that, you don't have an economy. Now, in the real world, what keeps people from being able to do that? Well, money keeps people from being able to do that. You have to have money in order to earn money in the real world. You either have to work or you have to, you know, grift people or whatever the case may be, get born into it, whatever it is. You have to burn money in the real world. Now, the company I'm supposed to be working for that's not able to pay me right now and keep promising they will, they're trying to get some money together so they can do that. So what would keep people from dumping product to drive the economy into the toilet? Well, it's money. That typically keeps people in the real world from doing that. Now, if you had regular income on a regular basis and could spend it to drive an economy into the dirt, like you can in this game, then what, keep, what keeps people from ruining the economy? Well, nothing. I don't see that they're solving problems. And I'm here to create them. Because, well, that's fun for me. I mean, when I first got into this game, I was trying to figure out how can I make money? It takes money to build ships. If you don't have money, you can't build ships. How do you make money in a game where you, it's very difficult to make money and you have to do that to build ships? Well, that was very frustrating. So I said, fuck it, black market. And I did. And then I got curious and that didn't pan out. I'm still trying to figure out how this game views itself. How do people get started? Other than you're going to mine resources for someone else. And that's really all you're going to do. And if you try to do something else, well, you're going to spend time not doing the thing you'd rather do. Still not sure how that's fun. Hey, thanks for the follower, Leafall1. I'm sure you're much cooler than Leafall0, because Leafall0 is a zero, and you are the one. You are the one, man, the one. Oh, rate myself. On a scale from 1 to 10, how do you rate yourself? Hmm, if I had self-esteem issues and thought I was worthless, I would always rate myself a 1. But if I don't have self-esteem issues and I think I'm awesome, I would rate myself a 10. You are one of something, man. Everybody is unique. And even if you don't have the number one in your name, I think you're still unique. Not that that matters. I mean, I don't want to build you up and then let you crash to the floor. The world doesn't give a shit whether you're unique or not. It really doesn't. But I think you're unique. And of course, my opinion counts for nothing. So, hey, the opinion of a, of a, of a guy talking about an economy in a game that doesn't exist, 
What's that going to mean? Nothing. But hey, you're unique. I think you're awesome. And you could contribute to my success. And I've got a phone call I have to take, so I'm going to put you on hold. Sorry. And that was someone who doesn't know how to negotiate. I asked her what about the money, because I always do, because I'm, I'm basically a contractor. And you're going to have to ask about the money, and I always do up front. And I asked her what kind of money we were talking about, and she goes, well, blah, blah, blah. She doesn't know. She has a figure in mind, and so do I. But by the time I give my figure, it's too late, and I'm not going to sit there and dicker with them. I give them an opportunity to give me a number. If they give me a, a number that's not my number, I go with it. I say yes. If they make me give, give them a number, and it's always going to be too high, then negotiation is over. And I always tell them, I'm sure you can find some very skilled people for whatever that number was. But by that time, I don't care. Twenty or thirty percent of the time, it goes that route. Eighty, ninety percent of the time, it goes the other route. And I'm perfectly happy. Money is not the most important thing to me in this world, but you know, if you make me give you a number, that's the number it's going to be. If I say, "What kind of money are we talking about?" You should have a number in mind. You should have talked to your end client. You should have a very good idea as to what they want to pay and what the budget is. And if you can't share that with me, then I don't care. I don't have time for it. And now I'm being asked to rate myself, and I have no idea what the scale is. But I have to wonder, what kind of people are going to rate themselves other than whatever's at the top of the scale. Do you not think you have the skills, buddy? That becomes the question. If you don't think you have the skill, then why are you trying to be in the game? And also, I do have the skill. I've been writing software for, for five decades, believe it or not. Got started when I was 14 years old. First thing I taught myself was top-down structured programming because it made sense. I had very little memory and a desire to write code. You're going to have to be efficient when you have very little memory. And that's how I spent the first dozen or so years of my career, working with substandard equipment because that's all that existed. So you have to be efficient. And I was. And you can believe that or not. I don't care. That's my story. 
and I was there. But I have no idea what the scale is I'm being asked to rate myself on. They have a weight score. I don't know what that means either. So I have a 113 out of 100, man, because I don't know what we're doing here. Looks like the game that can't seem to tell me what I need to know. And nobody else in the chat can tell me any, anything about how we're going to build an economy. Because I don't think anybody knows. I don't think anybody cares. This is what they're telling you you're going to do. And if you want to play the game, you're going to do it. Hey, Pepe Muroro? Muroro? Pepe Muroro. Hey, thanks for the follow. Between you and me, I really need subscribers, but, you know, that takes money. Followers I got. I've had followers over the years. A lot of people follow. I appreciate you following and supporting the channel, but, you know, I'm still waiting for that one very lucky day where I'll just, I'll make partner, and, and I'm afraid my life will be over at that point. Because Twitch does not help you at all. And all of this is based on luck and serendipity. And clearly, I have no talent. Other than for software development, and I'm not doing that on this channel. However, if you want to see some software from a master software developer, you can go check out racyhorn.medium.com. Because this is how I'm going to end every TED Talk I never give. Racyhorn.medium.com Where you can read all kinds of neat, wonderful things. Some of it is based on a TV show that's on Netflix that's called Alter, uh, Altered Carbon. I love that universe where you can plug your brain into another body. And I wrote a story at Racyhorn.medium.com about how you could fuck yourself in that universe. Because you can do a thing called double sleeving. Now, a sleeve is a body, and you can plug your mind into a different body. And when you plug your mind into a different body, well, you could do that multiple times, and you could be double-sleeved or sleeved as many times as you want in whatever clones because they have cloning. And a male mind, which doesn't really exist, they're just minds, you could be uh, uh, thinking you're a male person plugged into a female body, and if you double-sleeve, you could be both in a male and female body on a date, and then you can end up fucking yourselves. So you could literally, in that universe, go fuck yourself. I read a story about it, and I think it's great. Obviously, I've watched that show far too many times, but it is entertaining. Primarily from the viewpoint of it can never exist, but if it did, it'd be really cool. And I could sleeve my sleep my mind in a female body, a really hot one too, and you know, we could have a great time with myself. I could go fuck myself. And that's what I want to do. Yeah, it's weird. What do you want? Go watch the show, man. I had to watch Altered Carbon half a dozen times before I knew what the fuck they were doing. They have flashbacks in the beginning to set up the story. And then you're, you're back in, in a present, then he flashes back again. Then you're back in the present, then flashback again, then you're back in the present.
Uh, the topic of the today is we're trying to figure out how the changes in dual universe to the way you deal with blueprints and you have to make copies. Uh, how, do, how does any of that give you an economy where one did not exist before because I was able to trash the economy single-handedly just by dumping products on the market? Now, this will tie up my time. I won't be able to do that as much, but I could still do it with any product I choose. I'm interesting. Well, thank you very much. I think everybody is interesting. Everybody is unique. And there's an old saying, by the way, you don't have to be crazy to live on this planet, but it helps. I may have taken that to an extreme, though. However, if you think you might be crazy, then you're not. Because the truly insane have no idea whether they're insane or not. But if you think you might be a little crazy, or if you think you might be crazy, then you're certainly not, because you have the ability to rationally think about your current state of mind, and that keeps you from being insane. Interesting viewpoint, yes? I'm not a psychiatrist, but if I were, that's what I would be telling people. Do you think you're a little insane? No? Well, you might be completely crazy. Now, if you think you're a little insane, then you cannot be crazy. Unless you start killing people and you still think you might be a little insane. Then you're dangerous and you need to be put away. Yes, one person can't run a huge industry. One person would be able to build one product, whatever that product is. I could build Nitron if that's the only thing I wanted to do. And if I had a huge reserve of Qantas and didn't care where it came from, which is available in the black market, believe it or not, then I could still drive the price of Nitron into the ground. And nobody else would be able to sell it for any kind of a profit. That's the point I'm making. Not that you can do it with all products, because who cares if you can? but you can pick a product and run it into the ground. You could run nitron into the ground, and then you could run you know, some space fuel into the ground and let nitron recover, and then you could switch to a different one, run it into the ground and let the other two recover. There's nothing keeping you from doing that if you have a huge reserve of money in a universe and you don't care where the money came from. That doesn't give you an economy but it does slow things down to a trickle. Probably shouldn't discuss what's RMT, man. I don't know the acronym. Well, there's nothing cooler about a game where you can't get rich. Whereas in No Man's Sky that doesn't have an economy, doesn't want one, I can have four billion units, which is their form of money. I can have four billion units all I want because it's easy to get money. And I can feel like I'm mega rich because I would be. I could do the same thing with nanites, another form of money. And I can do the same thing with Quicksilver, another form of money. So in that game, I can feel like I'm mega rich and do whatever I wish. But in this one, you're not going to get to do that. Real money trading. So I can't talk about it. Why? You don't want me to talk about it? You prefer I shut the fuck up about something that's your favorite topic? What is it? Tell me out. I mean, if you don't want me talking about something and I'm talking about it, you should leave. And that, that would always be the cure for you're listening to people say things you don't want them to say. 
you could beat the fuck out of them and make, maybe make them stop, and I'm not advocating violence, but that's an option. Or you can walk the fuck away. Personally, if I didn't like what people were saying, I would walk the fuck away. And I wouldn't try to tell them, maybe you shouldn't be talking about that. How is RMT against the terms of service? I have a crappy attitude and don't belong in this community. Well, you're you're in my community and maybe maybe you don't belong, man. Maybe you should think about that. So, um Well, let's just time out the dude that doesn't think I belong in this econ in this community when it's my community. And this is my stream. I'm dumb. Well, okay. I don't think you should be calling me dumb on my stream. Um, give you a timeout. Terms of service for this stream is none of you get to tell me why I'm wrong. You don't have to be here, but you don't get to tell me I'm wrong. And I'm not talking about real money trading, I'm making an analogy, how the real world works. And people who want to say you can't talk about real money trading when no one's talking about real money, but I am talking about how the real world, how the real world works versus a game world. I can't see that being a violation of any terms of service. If I were talking about real money, and how you could use real money and promoting a way for you to use your real money, which I'm not, then you might have a point. Well, Lee, I have no problem with doing what you asked. So goodbye. Well, it was fun to have 11 people. I'm sure it'll never happen again. Since everybody needs me to stroke them and I'm not doing that. Anybody else want to get banned? Raise your hand. How long can I justify losing money in a universe where money can be obtained very easily? Does it matter? Like I said, in this, in this game, I've got 4 billion Qantas. Where do you think it came from? 3.3 billion in my, in my organization. And another 700 million in another character. And another... 196 million on this one. Where do you think it came from? Well, 196 million on this one came from the game. I was able to put things on the market and sell them. And by the way, I still have another 340 million on the market that people could buy. A lot of it's at ridiculously low prices. And it'll be there for another 36 days, 40 days. 
and then it'll, it will all exit. And the point isn't why people would do a thing in a universe. In this universe, I can do whatever I wish. It's my time. It might be my money. And if I want to spend it entertaining myself by ruining the economy, then why not? Where I can never afford to do that in another universe, and I'm not going to call it the real world because people think that's talking about real money trading when no one's doing that. So in another universe that we might be tempted to call it reality, but we're not going to call it reality. In another universe where you can't do that, you, you're just not able to do that. Because you can't, you can't give yourself money out of thin air. But in this universe, if you know how, you can. I'm just saying there's no economy. And now we're going to sit here and watch this thing run down because I'm curious as to how much I get. For my 7,000 Qantas or whatever the hell it was. 3,000. What does 3,000 Qantas give me? All right, so what am I doing? Meanwhile, I'm doing other things. I do like having 10 people on the stream. Or we're watching paint dry. Because it looks like I might get 15 kiloliters. Oh, not even. That's running off. Oh, 4.5, 4.5 kiloliters. Well, shit. That's even worse. No schematics left. 3,000 Qantas got me 4,800 liters. And what's nitron costing? Well, there is no nitron on the market. So 3,000 Qantas, each liter is going to cost me about one Qantas. Oh, that's a little pricey. Well, thank you very much for thinking I'm dumb. That's pretty awesome. Obviously, you don't know that I, I hold whether or not you get to speak in the palm of my hand, so why don't you not speak for 10 minutes? Um, whose stream do you think this is, guys? Do you think it's your stream, or is it my stream? You can disagree with me, but if you piss me off, I can press a button. Do you really want to piss me off? 
I mean, if you're going to pile on a stream just to piss the guy off who's streaming, why should anybody allow you to do that? You can think um, anything you want the moment you say it. I'm going to walk away from you, which means you're going to get banned or, or you're going to get timed out. That's all there is. You don't have to agree with the fucking thing I'm saying. But the moment you tell me I'm stupid, dumb, or ridiculous, or, or whatever, you're done talking to me. Now, it might be forever, or it might be for a period of time. If you want to get banned, all you have to do is put in the stream, hey, ban me, and I'll do it. I don't have a problem with that. I don't care. I don't make money from this anyway. I likely never will. Now, I know that going in. And this is another form of entertainment for me, by the way. To have people pile on the stream for no apparent reason, which I get a kick out of. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing in this game right now because they changed it. And apparently, I didn't see the information that they changed. So, obviously, from your perspective, I'm going to be down. But I also think the way they set up the game is pretty stupid. And I get to say that. If you don't want to listen, then get the fuck off my stream. Because it is my stream. And I do this for entertainment. And sometimes the audience is more entertaining than the game. So if I wanted to make enough Nitron for a day, what would it take? Obviously, I would need 10 times what I just built, which would get me 50 kiloliters, maybe. That's not going to be enough. If I want 500 kiloliters, All right, so all the Qantas I get for a day would make me 250 kiloliters. 50 times 5. Yeah, it's 250. That's all the money I get in a day. It's going to take eight hours to make it. So let's say I log in, and the 150 Qantas I got, I'm going to dump into making just Nitron. That in eight hours from now, or tomorrow when I come back, because I'm not going to sit around for eight hours. So tomorrow when I come back, for 150 Qantas, I would be able to run off maybe enough Nitron for one day's activity. So tomorrow I would maybe get to have enough Nitron for one day. I also need space fuel. I don't use a lot, but I do need some. And let's say that sum is going to be at least five. A five run of space fuel. But let's say I blow another 150 on it. So that's a 20 run of space fuel for another eight hours of waiting around. And that'll be the day after. So I'm spending tomorrow's money today. So now I've blown two days worth of money. And I really can't do anything in the game for another day. So, but in real terms, it would be Monday's money I've blown, Tuesday's money I've blown, come back on Wednesday, don't have any space fuel, come back on Thursday, and maybe I've got space fuel and nitron, but that just gives me the prints, and then I have to run them. And running all that fuel off would probably take another couple of days. So that blows a week's worth of time. I don't need to be in this game. So what am I missing? Does that pretty well capture the current state of affairs?
so keep my mining equipment running for spend two weeks just running the mining equipment not sure how you're going to get it in the beginning but let's say you did and then spend time making prints and then wait for the prints and then wait for the prints to run i'm still not sure how that's fun I don't know. So maybe they'll figure it out someday. Maybe it will be fun someday. I don't know. So I think for now I'm basically done with what I was going to do with this stream and this video. Um, I don't think I want to commit the time to uh, wait for prints and, and, you know, whatever that is. I don't know what it is. I don't think I care right now, but I am going to keep my mining equipment running. And I'm going to keep hoarding material. And maybe the game will figure itself out. I don't know. And for me, that is pretty much it. And I'll catch all of you later. Thanks for coming out. It was awesome to have 11 people on a stream. Because that never happens. Uh, but it's nice to know that most of the people thought I was basically stupid. And maybe I am. Who cares? I mean, do you think your opinions count for anything? Mine don't. You think yours do? I doubt it. And, uh, you know, I'm going to press the button. So, hey, catch you all later.